Hey everybody, it's Sarab from SonyRumors.net and today we're going to be going over the new curiosity service that's going to be available, or that is I should say available as of today, for both the uh, PSP uh, 1000, 2000, 3000, as well as uh, the PSP uh, Go. And the key thing about uh, Curiosity itself is it's uh, Sony's take kind of on uh, services like Pandora. And uh, if you guys really want to know a little more about it, please just uh, follow our link right up here. And this will take you to our previous video where we show off Curiosity uh, on the PlayStation 3. And that will really give you an idea of what the overall service does, what it costs, and all that stuff. And the key thing is that it's just now available on the uh, PSP and PSP Go. So uh, for those wondering, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and go check for our latest update on the PSP. And I do believe that there is a update. And so I'm going to just connect to my wireless. And yep, indeed there is an update. So we'll go ahead and uh, wait for the uh, update itself to uh, take place. And again, as I said, it is definitely both available for the PSP Go, uh, as well as uh, the original PSP, which is what I have over there. And so it does work for both systems. And so now we'll just go ahead and wait for the uh, update download. Okay, so you guys are going to notice that uh, after your uh, update is done, that under the music category, you guys are going to have the uh, Curiosity logo, and you actually had that before, but what we can actually do now is uh, once we launch it, it's going to ask you, do you want to uh, jump onto the internet and actually download the application? Now, uh, I believe the application itself uh, clocks in right around... Uh, 20 megabytes or so. So what it's going to do right now is it's going to uh, connect to the internet. It's going to bring up the web browser and it's going to just ask you, uh, you know, where is uh, your country of origin? And these are the countries that it's currently available in. And so for me, I'm going to go ahead and select US. And it's just going to bring you to the Curiosity page. And if you actually uh, down uh, scroll down, oops, a little bit. There we go. If you actually scroll down, you're going to notice that you can then click on the download button. And this will actually begin uh, your download of the service that it's going to uh, install. And there we go. So 17 megabytes is what it takes. And again, I believe on my uh, PSP 1000, it took 20 megabytes. So I think 20 megabytes is the biggest. And in this case, 17 is the smallest. So a few things for you guys to uh, keep in mind. So you have a frustration free event by uh, placing curiosity on your uh, PSP system is that there's three things you guys need to keep in mind. Uh, method one is, or the number one thing to keep in mind is besides the additional 20 megabytes that the application itself takes to uh, download on your PSP, uh, once installed, you'll actually need to have an additional uh, 200 megabytes of free space on your system. Now again, obviously curiosity is streaming music over to your PSP as opposed to downloading it, but I think it needs that 200 megabytes uh, available for buffering. And you guys are gonna notice that if you don't have it, you guys are gonna get these error messages and it's gonna let you know how much additional free space you're gonna need uh, before Curiosity itself can be installed on your PSP or PSP Go system. Number two is before, uh, w once you've done all this and you access it, if you don't have uh, Curiosity, uh, whether it's the free 30-day service or whether it's the basic for $3.99 or the premium for $9.99 hooked up to your uh, PSN account, and if you don't have that hooked up and you try to log into uh, the Curiosity service, it's going to boot you out and it's going to let you know, hey, jump on your PS3 or jump online uh, and go to just uh, Google Curiosity Music and it'll take you there and uh, you'll need to purchase some kind of account that's linked to your PSN and then it'll allow you to uh, enter the application. So that is the second thing that you guys uh, will need to know is that 
indeed you're gonna have to uh, have some kind of account already purchased you can't do that on the uh, PSP system itself and the third thing is once you've done that uh, just like the way it worked on the uh, PS3 uh, before you get into it you guys need to go to your settings you need to go to uh, date and time settings and you need to set it via internet so even if your time and everything is uh, correct you still need to sync it with the internet and again this probably has to do with more with the streaming and everything else and the way it works but if you don't have that and you enter the application, it will boot you out and set, you know, lets you know that that's what you need to do. So that is the third thing you guys will need to do. And then after that, it's a fairly uh, hassle-free process and the streaming works as you expect it. And now we're gonna actually jump into that part of the video. And once your download is complete, you can go ahead and jump out of this. And now it's just gonna let you know that the service is ready to be used. So again, I'm just gonna hit O, jump out of the web browser. And here we have our curiosity service. And now just going to jump into it. Okay, and so here we are into the curiosity service. And again, you're gonna notice just like the PS3, you have all your different categories uh, available to you and you know you can always always push O and jump back out to your main menu and go over all your information but again in our case really I just want to go over to channels and sure let's select pop music and let's see what comes up for us And there we go, so it's starting to grab all these different artists for us and you can scroll back and forth between the artists and you can really load up whatever you want here. Let's try Katy Perry. And it's just gonna let you know that hey, if you have the basic membership, you might not have access to all the features. And so this is Curiosity uh, streaming away for you guys. So again, I can just scroll over to whoever it is that I want. Here's some Enrique action. As you guys can see, again, the service is extremely, extremely fast for the fact that it's streaming over. And so there we are, just going around, and everything is working exactly as it would. And I doubt I have anything in my library. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I didn't think I'd created any playlists yet. And there it is, you guys. So that is Curiosity working for you guys right there on the uh, PSP system. So. Now I'm going to show it to you guys in one more way that you guys can use uh, Curiosity, so hang on tight for that. Alright, and uh, for those of you who are wondering what else you can do with Curiosity, one of the things that you know always comes to my mind is if you guys have a dock for your uh, PSP, or if you guys actually just have a little... Uh, three and a half millimeter uh, jack right here which lets you really plug it into your car to your receiver or anything else obviously in your car on uh, this scenario wouldn't work since you need streaming but if you're anywhere that you know you have Wi-Fi and you can plug it into a dock whether it can actually sit on it or plug it in you know via the cable one of the cool things you can do at that point is then you can stream over uh, any kind of music that you guys want throughout your stereo system or the dock that you have and so again if we look over here to the uh, original PSP that I have I just have it on a dock and you're gonna notice that it's gonna start playing away
And all right, everybody, so that is it. That is uh, Curiosity on your PSP and PSP Go working away without really the hitch. Again, it's it's nice to see that the streaming service does work uh, pretty well on itself and that there's no real glitches that I've noticed. So, again, if you guys have any questions, as always, whether you guys comment below or whether you guys come to our uh, Twitter page or whether you guys come to our Facebook page or whether you guys come onto the website, we welcome all kinds of interaction. And keep in mind that you guys can now actually call into our uh, website as well. So, all that information will be directly after this. But again, we love interacting with you guys. So uh, interact with us and we will interact with you guys back. And uh, we'll catch you guys on our next video.